Another week, another weekly grocery haul. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name's Nicole. Thanks so much for stopping by. We have a Sam's Club Walmart grocery pickup order and we did go ahead and do another Imperfect Foods order and stocking the freezers up on meat while we can get them clean and at a discounted rate. So let me show you and bring you down to the counter what we got from Sam's Club, Walmart, online grocery pickup, and then a little quick zoom of our Imperfect Foods order. So here's my weekly Sam's Club online pickup order. I got some Taylor Farms Organic. I've mentioned that it's a much better deal over at Sam's. It's like a dollar more at Walmart for the same poundage. It's 16 ounces. It's one pound. Out of the Chef Chamois garlic butter. Y'all know I rave about this one. I haven't tried the French one yet. Y'all let me know if that one's good. The other ones have sugar in them, so they're definitely not keto friendly, but I bet they're delicious. But this is my favorite. This is the Chef Chamois garlic butter with Parmesan cheese and basil. Ingredients are really clean if you're wondering, guys. Macros on point, and this stuff is so good. Melt it, dip your steak, dip your veggies in it. Put this on top of veggies. It makes everything taste so good. Plan on making a keto lasagna. I've got a couple of different recipes and I can add this to our keto pizzas with that coconut flour recipe that I have coming in my e-cookbook. But this is the Galbani whole milk ricotta cheese and it was such a killer deal. Less than five bucks guys for three pounds of ricotta cheese. I mean that's crazy because it's like two dollars for a little container at Walmart. The macros are three net carbs for a fourth of a cup, seven grams of fat, 100 calories, and six protein. So it was comparable to the great value as far as the macros go. So I figured why not get a big one and this one is good until almost October for the expiration date. I've been loving feta cheese so much. I did haul this one right before the Mediterranean challenge. I am almost out. It has lasted that entire time in the fridge. It's not moldy. It's not gone bad. Amazing. And this one is on a dollar instant savings until the end of the month for July. And this is one pound, eight ounces. Love this brand. Love the taste. Macros on point. There you go right there. And ingredients good too. So this is one I can highly recommend. Been putting it in salads, been adding it to burgers, meatloaf, you name it. This stuff is great. Another thing I highly recommend is the Members Mark Organic Virgin Coconut Oil. It's cold pressed and unrefined is the one that you want as far as a coconut oil. You get 56 ounces in here. Crazy because it's less than $9, guys super clean. I've been using this in coffee. We've been using this in a lot of baked goods and I have about this much left and I am out. So I went ahead and got another one because I cannot wait till our monthly haul. I need it now. I know I hauled the glass bottle, the one that said like from Italy or whatever, and I can't see it anywhere on their site. So this was the one that looked the best, the Members Mark Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil. And as far as the ingredients and all that stuff. It's just extra virgin olive oil and it says that it does come from Italy and stuff somewhere I saw in there something, but whatever. It is 68 full ounces and I've been using this stuff like crazy to make my Mediterranean Greek dressing for salads. I've also been using a bunch of recipes flying through this stuff like crazy, like more than avocado oil. So I had to go ahead and pick up another one that should last us for a little while. Something else I haven't hauled in a long, long time is the Blue Diamond Almond Flour. This is our favorite one, finely sifted. I still sift this though when I make my baked goods. Even though it says finely sifted, there still are some clumps in here from it sitting. So you always wanna sift your almond flour no matter if it says finely sifted or not. It will just make your baked goods even more uh, better if that makes sense. So I went ahead and got three pounds. This is a great deal guys way better than Walmart and some other stores And I am almost out because I've been trying new recipes and bacon like a crazy person So we needed some more to get us through cannot wait until the monthly haul for that Something else I couldn't wait for the monthly haul was to get Trey some more good nights. We have to get these for him for occasional nighttime because with his autism, we still have some issues with the potting in the bathroom. And I know a lot of my ASD mommies and daddies out there can relate with that. And of course, I told you guys for the monthly haul that I would be coming back and getting more of the Members Mark Plus waters with electrolytes. I'm obsessed. Less than $9 for 15 one liter bottles. So I went ahead and got two. And y'all, I know I have a problem. That's probably not gonna last until the monthly haul next time. We'll probably do another weekly win. I need to stop. I've been trying to fill up my water bottle more rather than using these, but I just 
just love the way these taste and I love the way that they make me feel. So that was everything we got this week just for a little quick pickup from Sam's Club, $116 to get us the things that we were absolutely out of or running low on that I couldn't wait for my monthly Walmart pickup. grocery pickup for the week. This was $60 with tax. They were out of some things. Actually, they substituted that I rejected because we just couldn't have it. Um, but the things that they did have, I was happy that we were able to pick up. If you want to do the online grocery pickup, guys, I have a link down below that will get you $10 off the very first time you use the service to so check that out. And we also did Imperfect Foods this week and got a bunch of meats. I'm continuously trying to stock up the freezers with steaks, with sausages, ground yeah. turkey, all the things that are super high here still in our local grocery stores. It's really been hard besides like my Winn-Dixie and my Rouse's to find things on sale as far as meats go. So I'm using that service because it's been incredible for the sausage, the meats and things like that. I also have a $10 off code down below if you want to sign up for Imperfect Foods. I highly recommend their pantry staples, organic stuff and their meats especially. So what did we get for 60 bucks? I got a tomato for the hubby for slicing for bunless burgers and for salads and just salt and pepper on the side for his meals. I got an English cucumber for me. I still have half of one, but I just wanted to have one on hand. And I find these English cucumbers that are wrapped up like this last forever versus your like conventional cucumber. We were out of berries and they did not have berries at Sam's Club. I know what is their life. They've been out and I love the ones from Sam's versus Walmart, but we'll do what we have to do. I got the 12 ounces of the blackberries here from Walmart. This is just the farm to table brand. And then this North Bay produce, this is the two like pints of the raspberries. These actually look really good. So I'm excited about these and I've been eating these with nut butter and the Faye yogurt, which I got from Whole Foods this week because they didn't have it at Walmart. Girl, why did you buy a cilantro plant? So if you've been watching the grocery hauls, you know they subbed my basil for a basil plant. And I'm happy to report, guys, that my basil plant is doing awesome. Like this girl has no green thumb at all, but my basil plant is like thriving. And I got like a plant, a, a planter for it. I've got some organic potting soil. We're doing the damn thing. So instead of me paying a dollar per week for cilantro, because I buy this every week, I was like, why do I not just buy another plant? Because I knew they offered it. However, they kind of jacked up my roots here a little bit. But I got another planter on the way and I'm going to plant this and I'll have fresh organic cilantro every week without paying the dollar a week. This was only like $2.50 for this plant. So this is definitely a better way to do it, guys, if you can keep it up and, you know, make sure that you're watering it and all that good stuff. But yeah, why pay a dollar a week when you can get a freaking plant for $2.50? It was a no brainer. I don't know why I haven't been doing it longer. Got bananas for Waylon. Glad they're green, but he eats them before. Oh my gosh, the kid can eat like three in a day. It's ridiculous. Whole foods is what we strive for the most in our household for the kids especially they were out of avocados at sam's club as well i love those because they're huge and they're always ready to go and they keep well in the fridge but these will do and they were like 68 cents at walmart right now so really great price over there check and see they've been between 68 cents and 75 cents a piece which is really good that's more can't organic time for a recipe i have some still on hand from last week but not enough to get me through we still have about half of a thing of dave's killer bread boom and berry these are the ones the boys like um, I say boys this is usually for Waylon a tray usually goes for his like peanut butter and jelly on the Canyon Bakehouse here but this is Waylon's treat he eats half of one with some butter or half of one with some of the good good sugar-free jam and he is good to go for breakfast so I got another one just to have on hand because they don't always have them in stock speaking of the Canyon Bakehouse gluten-free bread this is the one that we like the mountain white one we like them all but this one is just a little bit more substantial in size and Trey has been loving some clean peanut butter with the good good jam for lunches every day that is been his new obsession he'll get off of it again he gets on these kicks with his autism but right now that's what he's loving so that's what he's getting speaking of trey we did get some more of the land of lakes a pound and a quarter is what we use for the keto queso that is a weekly must like that's like detrimental if we don't have that y'all know that if you've been watching me for a while speaking of detrimental this is his breakfast so that was his lunch this is trey's breakfast he eats two of these vans gluten-free waffles every morning with some lacanto syrup some sugar-free sprinkles and some of this whipped cream that is his jam all right so 
you know, my mommies and daddies that have kids with autism, y'all know they get stuck in their ways and if they don't have their routine things, it like sets off their day. These are like $2.70 to a box, a really great price. You get six in here and like I said, it eats two per day. So I got three to last for the week. I do have some of this on hand already, but I don't want to run out because this is probably his favorite part of the meal, honestly. And yeah, it does have carrageenan in it, guys. You want to try to stay away from that because it is a thickening agent that is really bad for your gut health, especially over time. But he only eats a little bit of this once a day and I'd rather him have this honestly than the corn syrup infused other ones and the other ones have maltodextrin and things like that that are way uh, dirtier than this one but this is considered dirty keto because of the carrageenan I will consume it from time to time just to have the whipped cream option you can make your own I know and I eventually probably will do that but right now this is what we're doing for convenience instead of getting the green chilies like I used to for the keto queso I now opt for this Mount Olive diced jalapeno peppers you get 12 ounces in here and this lasts probably for a month versus spending a dollar per each of the canned chilies and Trey likes it he likes uh, the spiciness of the jalapenos I've tried it with this and it's not overly spicy it's it's really good so that's a cost saving trick there versus buying the little canned chilies for the keto queso something new i got this mazetta deli slice roasted bell pepper strips and these are two net carbs for it says about 10 or one ounce or 28 grams so i didn't think that was bad that was the lowest carb option of the brands and i needed this for a feta spinach meatloaf that i'm making this week doesn't that sound yummy last thing that i got was a non-food item this is a scrubbing bubbles fresh gel little stick on things i love these for our toilets especially with boys you know it gets a little stinky up in there and they do have these at sam's club but they have been sold out again lots of things sold out at sam's club that i'm having to get at over at the wally world so that is everything we got for our online pickup this week at walmart for 60 dollars. so that's this week's grocery haul give it a huge thumbs up if you look forward to these weekly grocery hauls here on my channel and if you're not subscribed what are you guys doing hit all the bells and whistles down below so you're notified every two Tuesday afternoon when I post a new grocery haul, whether it's a weekly one or the huge monthly ones that we do at Sam's Club and Walmart. I'd love to have you part of the fam. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all have an amazing day and awesome week, and we will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.